please welcome to Three O'Clock Coffee, your daily pick-me-up from God's Word. Whether you're at home changing diapers or you're at work feeling like maybe your boss needs them, let's get a quick dose to encourage ourselves, keep us on track, and finish out our day strong. Let's take a drink. Are you ready? So I used to watch this skit on late night television called Debbie Downer. I don't know if you've seen it. Basically, everybody's in a room, they're having a great time, a great conversation, and the next thing you know, Debbie has a story to tell. Of course, the most depressing, most tragic, most awful perspective and thing you could talk about. And the room goes from happy to sad in a millisecond every time Debbie talks. And you know what, sometimes Christians feel like they have to be like Debbie Downer. They're not being spiritual enough if they're not talking about all the awful things that are going on everywhere. And you know what, it just makes them depressed and everybody around them depressed. And you know what, it doesn't say that being depressed makes you a good spiritual Christian. Actually, it says the opposite. In Nehemiah 8.10, the Lord says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. In Galatians 5, it says that joy is one of the fruit of the Spirit. So you know what, if you're one of those people, you can resign your place as savior to the world and let the real savior do the work, carry the load, and we can just do what he said. We can receive the joy of the Lord, walk in strength so that we can face the battles of this world and be strong enough to come through them on the other side as victors and winners. So don't think that you're being super spiritual by being depressed. You're not. I love how Galatians 5 it says that joy is one of the fruits of the Spirit. And at the end it says that against such, against these fruit, there is no law. So you know what? No matter what's going on in the world, no matter who's in the White House, who's in whatever house and whatever country you may live in, you know what? The Lord is still mighty. He's still on the throne. And we can walk in joy knowing that He is working on our behalf. And there's no law that can keep us from walking in joy. Whatever you're going through today, know that God is for you and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you.